Hi, I'm on Facts of Mars, and you're not going to believe this. This is the Huffington Post. The name of the author is Kathy Runnell. She is insane. We are all still reeling from the shock of election, election results. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote, which may be BS, by the way, that we now must brace ourselves for Trump administration. The more I think about it and see the reactions from all sides, the more this feels like an aftermath of an attack, a literal attack on our community. She's insane. The group that these deplorables love to hate and feel threatened by are now under attack. LGBT, people of color, women, Muslims, disabled, and many other things. Other baloney. This this one is a real this idiot is ready for the cracker factory. I mean, she should be in a padded cell with Mark Twain. This election was a hate crime, not a physical or psychological. Not physical, but psychological one that may well lead to legal and physical manifestations. That will be categorized as hate. I saw and heard about such pain here on social media and personally as we realized Trump would take the election. And it has not let up. I checked on several people who were expressing a level of fear that seemed to like it could lead to self harm. Well, then they're nuts, and they need to check themselves in. I saw friends saying that they desperately needed to seek support at a massive 12-step meeting or some other refuge. I saw pleas for self-care and not what fear of alone. They're insane. So it was already a concern, and after being able to get some sleep, I vandalized, I vandalized Hillary bumper stickers welcoming me as I got my car to the grocery shopping this morning. You, madam, frankly, I don't believe you, because you've already demonstrated by this article that you are mentally ill and need to check yourself into a hospital. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. So I don't believe you about that. We live in Mike Fair, New Jersey, one of the most diverse and progressive places in the state. For that, for the first time in a long time, I no longer feel safe. <laughs> you, madam, are paranoid. Uh, I'm not a psychiatrist, so I can't diagnose anything. But you, madam, I'm very sorry. You've got mental issues out the wazoo. But does calling this a uh, vote of hate crime sound extreme? Now, if you look at the definition, the hate crime is one motivated by prejudice, fear, or intolerance toward an individual's national origin, ethnicity, color, religion, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, or disability. She's insane. She's nuts. I am, I am so going to rip this, these people. You have no idea. It's not news that throughout his campaign, Trump spent an enormous amount of time spewing hate and vitriol at women. That is bullshit. Muslims, Latino, and the disabled. Brushing things like sexual assault, braggadocio off as locker room talk and not seeing him held accountable by his supporters. GOP or more of the media was at best disappointing. Actually, it was infuriating and embarrassing. We saw protesters at Trump rallies Mocked, beaten, and arrested. That is also bullshit. Need I go on? This one is 
It's a left that's been beating people and uh, thrashing them and such. There's been very little on the Trump side. They're insane. So it should come as no surprise that many, not all, but many disenfranchised voters supporting Trump felt not only vindicated but empowered by this victory. Enough to create a climate where they are far less hesitant to act on their hate. I thought about how, after eight years of a powerful, effective African American president with integrity, oh my god, we now have president endorsed by the KKK. This is a real nutcase. We're not talking minor nutcase. I'm not a psychiatrist, so I can't make a diagnosis. But I can call her a nutcase, which she is. She uh, belongs in a psych psychiatric hospital for the criminally insane. I told you they're going to try to come after us. Now, that is, they would if they could. And this is proof. Uh, she's you know, openly says it's a crime to vote, it was a crime to vote for Donald Trump. But what else am I supposed to uh, think here? She's nuts. She's out of her mind. I fear for all those who are now clearly in the crosshairs of hatred. I fear for allies who will speak up and protest Trump regime and all it may bring, I fear we will be hearing more about about more than bumper sticker vandalization, I fear. Vandalism. Yeah, you fear all right. You're uh you're uh, definitely running for a padded room and a box of crayons. Madam, check yourself in the psychiatric hospital immediately. I'm Artifacts of Mars.